Just knows there's a way up there, but it's a dead end. Dude, I was just here on the other side. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so check it out. There's a way over here. I could climb over the break now. Oh, that's funny. I thought I saw a flash, like somebody else behind me. So check it out. There's also a way up there. Crawl only. Now, there's also a ladder. Yeah, too small. So let's go up the ladder, because I'm standing up just fine. Oh, is this the boxing glove? Oh, so you know what? I'm barely standing up, so I might turn around here. So check it out, that lower level down there. <laughs> Good luck with that. There's like 15 feet down there. Good luck. See if I can get my flashlight working. Check it out. That's where I was just was. Look at that, it's like 20 feet down. <laughs> awesome. Look at the size of this puddle. Okay, so this is as far as I'm gonna go. Standing up, because I'm only like, you know, one fourth of the way through the cave. Anyway. I'm just going to stand up now due to lack of time. I'll come back later. Dude, a maze like this. So this is over 6,000 feet of tube. And it's a big 3D maze. And some of it's really hard. Like, I'm doing the easy parts today because I'm lazy and pathetic. But yeah, I'm going to hopefully come back someday and have a little more ambition. And uh, yeah, this is the kind of thing that would take me hours. There's only one entrance too, so it's not like you can start at one end and go to the other. You start at one end, you go to the other, and then you go all the way back. So it's like twice as long. And that's assuming you don't get lost. <laughs> Good luck with that. I don't know. I might just cheat and bring a map with me. How's that sound? Excuse me. It looks like there's a trail to the left here, so I'll go ahead and stay on the trail. I thought I saw a trail to the right too. But anyway. Yeah, it's funny. So they they I wish they rate the caves how easy they are, but they don't seem as consistent. Like this one here, I think it's easy physically. As long as you stick to the main too. Of course, if you try to explore the whole thing, it's hard. But that's even true of mush pot cave. But then again, okay. Yeah. See, this is getting too low. Well, I can fit over here barely. The other thing too, the entrance is at the other at upper end of the cave. So if you really get lost, just go up. But yeah, I don't see any sign of bats. I'm surprised with such a big cave, you'd think the bats would like it, but whatever. Oh, I hope there's not a cliff here. Okay, a little bit of a drop off, lots of fun. Okay, I think that's the way I could have gone, but I chickened out. So, let's go this way. Oh, 
Okay, time for a quiz. Was I through here already or not? I actually don't remember. I went through a tube similar to that one, but I actually don't remember if I was on over here or not. I think I was over on the other parallel side tube, or main tube. There's like two parallel tubes. That's what makes this kind of a cool maze. All right. Notice how one of the ways this cave has multiple levels is by having these little lava falls. So technically I just went up to a higher level. Weird how the floor is smooth here, but the ceiling is rough. Just like in a Hopkins chocolate cave. Suspicious. trail over here. See it's too tight over there. I'm standing up. This is that one little place I think I was already here and I crouched down. So I'm like okay one brief crouch because I knew it was temporary. Yeah I did go that way already before. See if this room to stand up over here. Some of these tubes they get smaller and smaller. Kind of weird. I'm barely standing up here. This is kind of fun. <laughs> oh, dead end. Well, for me. I mean, obviously it's not a dead end, right? I could go through there, if I remember right, that is a dead end. Or I could crawl through there. If I remember right, that's not a dead end. But either way, I'm standing. So here I go back the other way. How does that go? From whence I came. There's a red ribbon. What's up with all these red ribbons? Huh. I hope people aren't trying to leave a trail of breadcrumbs, because the thing is, the ribbons don't even show which direction to go. So you think about it, if you keep leaving a red ribbon, just like that, without any arrows or anything, you make a full circle. Okay, you got a bunch of red ribbons going around in circles. How the heck does that help you? So yeah, it's a dumb idea. Just use a map. Okay, as you can see, I'm not lost. So that was about the easy one-fourth.